This mirror is a combination of this mesh and this cheap reflective film which is five times thinner than a human hair. You might think that winds will quickly destroy such thin film, but it is not, and you will be surprised at the results of my experiments, which I will begin to describe in a minute, and which measure the lifespan of mirrors of this type. My mirror is approximately 10 times cheaper than similar mirrors, taking into account the cost of this mesh and other parts of my mirror. These expensive mirrors are the basis of more than 100 solar power plants, each of which has a value from several hundred thousand dollars to several billion dollars. My cheap mirrors must form long rows, and they focus solar radiation in this way into similar receivers so that have the ability to move from morning to evening. At the same time, those large solar power plants work differently, and they use the movements not of small receivers but of large mirrors, which must move from morning to evening according to the movements of the sun across the sky. So, I made this concave mirror, and then it was constantly under the open sky. Now we see that sometimes the mirror has experienced strong winds, and the wind from the south seems to be the most dangerous. Then there was winter with frost and snow. Now I show how the snow covered the surface of the mirror and left the mirror without my help during the first winter. We also see that I sometimes change the vertical angle of the mirror to study the conditions for snow to leave the surface of the mirror on its own. Now I will show one of my experiments when I placed this newspaper at the focus of my mirror, where it focuses the solar radiation. The radiation did not set fire to the newspaper immediately, and now there is a situation in a minute and a half. This experiment demonstrates that the mirror retains its good reflective capabilities. In a minute I will show that a similar experiment but for a mirror aged 10 months can no longer set fire to a newspaper, because the mirror will reduce its reflectance. And now we will see one of the causes of the mirror deterioration. This is my mirror after 4 months of outdoor use, and we see a lot of white dots of its film. We can compare it with this example of the same film, but new, that has not been used outdoors, and we see that the new film also has white dots, but their number is much less. Those white dots are defects in the thin aluminum layer of the film, and it is obvious that the edging of the film leads to an increase in the number of the white dots and their sizes, and this fact leads to a decrease in the reflection coefficient of our mirror. Now I show the same mirror, but with the age of 5 months during a strong wind from the south, and this fact can be seen here. After that, my mirror continued to work during the spring and summer. Now I am going to do that experiment again, trying to set fire to this newspaper. We see that the newspaper gives smoke, but cannot give fire. This fact speaks of the deterioration of the reflectance of this mirror with the age of 10 months due to the increase in the number of those white dots and due to the following phenomenon. I just washed this area, and we can compare it with the rest of my mirror, which has accumulated a lot of dirt during 12 months of its work in the open air. We know that the expensive mirrors of those large solar power plants have to be washed sometimes, but my cheap mirrors may not be washed, and therefore they are gradually coated with dirt, which cannot be removed by rain and snow. But let's get back to my experiment, and now I am showing how my mirror survived its second winter. Now I am trying to show the dirt on my mirror with the age of almost a year and a half. It is obvious that the dirt accumulates month after month, and the reflection coefficient of my mirror is gradually decreasing because of this dirt, and because of those white dots, and now I will show you the third cause of the decrease in the reflection coefficient. We see that my reflective film is gradually becoming transparent. I should clarify that this reflective film is transparent mylar with a thickness of 20 microns.
But one of the surfaces of the mylar layer is coated with a layer of aluminum with a thickness of less than 1 micron and the aluminum layer turns the film from transparent to reflective. It is obvious that rain and other weather events gradually remove the aluminum layer month after month and therefore the film gradually turns from reflective to transparent. This phenomenon not only reduces the reflectance of the mirror but also accelerates the aging of the mylar layer due to solar radiation because that aluminum layer is on the sunny side of the film, that is, on the south side, and therefore it protects the mylar from the solar radiation. If the aluminum layer were on the opposite side of the film, that is, on the north side, the lifespan of the film would be only a few months because the solar radiation will quickly destroy the mylar layer. I have seen the death of reflective films many times. A new film ages rapidly due to solar radiation, which leads to the fact that the film gradually loses its elasticity and strength. This aging of a new film lasts for about a year or a little more, and after that we notice the appearance of a crack in the film. Repairing or sealing the first crack does not make sense, because tomorrow we will see the second crack, and then we will see several new cracks every day. Nevertheless, let's go back to my experiment, and now it has been 17 months since I installed this mirror under the open sky. But after a few days I noticed this crack, and I repeat that sealing this crack does not make sense, because soon similar cracks will appear in large numbers in other places of the mirror. Now I am starting to show how my mirror was destroyed during one month, but it is clear that the dying time depends on the presence of strong wind. It is interesting that now the mirror can still continue to work, because more than half of its surface can reflect solar radiation, although it is noticeably worse compared to the new mirror. But sooner or later the mirror will be destroyed by a strong wind. Now I am trying to show that the film has lost its strength, and this fact was the main cause of the death of the mirror. So, we come to the conclusion that our solar station should be surrounded by a mesh that will be a trap for pieces of old films. In addition, we understand that our mirror must have an easy, cheap and fast film replacement method to compete with these expensive but long-lasting mirrors. Accounting for the cost of replacing our cheap mirrors comes to this conclusion, that our cheap mirrors are about four times more cost-effective than those expensive mirrors. Here I have taken into account the cost of our film replacements and their short lifespan, and this is an accounting of the cost of mirrors. But we understand this comparison of the mirrors is not complete without taking into account reflection coefficient, focus quality, operating costs and other factors. This damage occurred in the second month of my experiment due to an accidental drop of a shovel on my mirror. This is the second damage to my film, and it appeared in the tenth month of my experiment. Unfortunately, I cannot explain its cause, and it is possible that the damage was done by this tall grass during a wind. Or maybe this metal part was the cause. The third accidental damage to my film happened during this experiment, when my hand accidentally made this crack. I remind you that the lifespan of my film turned out to be a year and a half, but it is obvious that this is an approximate lifespan, and it depends on many things. For example, replacing my 20 micron mylar with another material can change the lifespan, and for example, we know about similar reflective films made of several polymer layers with a lifespan of more than 20 years. In addition, our reflective films can be killed by hail or hurricane, and therefore must be replaced before that lifespan. 
Also, the lifespan depends on the region compared to my climate in central Ukraine. For example, a desert climate can reduce the lifespan due to the abundance of sun and sandstorms, but on the other hand, deserts do not have Ukrainian frost and snow. In addition, some regions may have large insects whose fly may hit our mirror surface, and also your region should be checked to make sure local birds and animals will not destroy the film.